In this video, we're going to have a look at the bookmarks pane once again. This time, instead of looking at what the bookmarks feature can do, we're going to explore these different settings that you can enable or toggle within uh, the bookmarks pane so that you can have final control over how they affect your visuals. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So bookmarks is a powerful Power BI feature which allows you to bookmark things like the visibility of your visuals or the filters that you've selected within your reports. You can use bookmarks to implement techniques like creating pop-out menus for your reports. And today we're going to look at some of the finer controls that is available for you when you're using uh, bookmarks. First, let's go through a quick recap of what bookmarks can do. So here I prepared a Power BI report with a few visuals within this page. We have some slicers here, some cards, as well as some visuals like tables and a chart here. So first, where you will find bookmarks is under view under the bookmarks pane right here. So the idea with the bookmark is, um, let's say I want to create a bookmark um, to always go to aerospace. So I make a selection for the aerospace. I click uh, add, and this will create as a bookmark here, which will remember this selection that we've created. You can right click and rename this bookmark. So we'll uh, name this aerospace, which now what happens is if I make a different selection here, so if I reset my industry here and I select this bookmark, you'll see that it remembers that selection that we've just created. Now from here, what you can do is uh, insert a different uh, button here and assign this bookmark to this button so that when you select that button, like here, for example, it will trigger, trigger the bookmark for you. So if I clear that selection once again, I select that button under actions, we enable that and under type, let's choose bookmark and then under bookmark, we'll select airspace. So now if I select and use control click, it will go to that bookmark for us. From here, you can also create multiple bookmarks. Like for example, if I make a different selection here, uh, for example, I choose uh, let's say computer software and I select add here, rename that bookmark, just name computer systems. So now I'm able to switch between these different selections that I've just made. So aerospace to computer software, because you can create multiple bookmarks. You can also group them as a means to organize them. So you can do a highlight control click, right click. You can select group, which creates a group for them. It's just a way for you to kind of group your bookmarks. So let's say you have uh, bookmarks for various pages or maybe bookmarks uh, for certain things, um, you know, selecting data or you know, hiding or showing visuals. This is a way for you to sort of organize them. Like the other bookmarks, you can also rename your group. So um, this would be uh, page one filters. For example, that's how you would use the grouping. If you've created a bookmark and you want to update what that bookmark does, you can use the updates to do that. So for example, let's go back to aerospace and let's say we want to select certain companies within aerospace. So we'll select the first three. So a cubed, Boeing, and this one. And to make sure that the bookmark makes sure to update both airspace and the company, we'll right click on that bookmark and click update. So now if we go back to computer systems and we select this button, which triggers that bookmark, you'll see that it make sure that those companies are selected as well. You can also use bookmarks to update the visual and the visibility of your visuals within your reports. So here, for example, we have this uh, bar chart, for example, that just counts the number of companies within the industry that we've selected. Uh, and let's say we want to hide this when we uh, select a bookmark. So what we'll do is we will go and open up the selection pane. This allows you to toggle that visual to be visible or invisible by selecting the the eye icon next to it. So in this case, we'll just hide that and then we'll select add. So that will create a bookmark that hides that visual. So we'll just name this one, right click, rename, uh, hide visual. So now if we make a, a select or clear all of the filters here and let's trigger the hide visual, 
Oh, actually, no. Well, let's enable the visual first like this, like it was by default. If we click hide visual, you'll see that it hides that visual for us. However, did you notice something different from what we've done just now? What it's done is it didn't just hide the visual that we have uh, selected here. Uh, we've deselected. It's also preserved the data filters that we've applied um, because uh, it's part of the other uh, other bookmark that we've created, the aerospace with the three companies. And that's because when we created that bookmark, it saved not just the states of the current visual that we were working at the bar chart, it also looked at the other visual states within the page. So when we created that bookmark, it remembered that, oh, we had aerospace selected and we also had a few of the companies selected. So that bookmark, uh, remembered those as well. In this instance, for example, if you wanted your bookmarks to only affect uh, visuals, but not the data, this is where the separate options come into play with the bookmarks themselves. So if I right click this uh, bookmark that we've created, for example, and I disable the data part of this, so instead we'll just have display and current page, see what happens here. I haven't changed anything apart from disabling that data part within that bookmark. So we'll reset it all back to normal. And now we will click hide visual once again and pay attention to what happens. So what it did is it hid the visual, but it didn't affect the filters that we've applied in those slicers. Toggling the data, make sure that this bookmark doesn't affect any data changes or filters that you've applied, your users have applied within the page. And um, basically this means that this bookmark will only work for um, hiding or uh, showing visuals within your page. The same is true for the visual. So it's the opposite way around. If you wanted your, uh, your bookmark to affect just the data, but not the visibility of uh, your visuals, you can toggle data and uh, toggle untoggle the display. So this is how it looks like now and see what happens. If I um, put it back to normal here and let's click that bookmark once again. You see that what it's done, it, although that bookmark remembered that it needs to hide the chart because we clicked and we disabled the display toggle for the bookmark, it doesn't affect the visuals within your page, only the filters that um, is currently there, which it remembered that we have the airspace in the three companies, like we did when we first created it. The other option that you have here is the current page, which um, if it's currently toggled by default, it will make sure that when that button or when that bookmark is triggered, it travels to where your bookmark, uh, which page that bookmark uh, was applied. So for for example, if I show you an example here, um, if we go to page two, which is a different uh, page within this report, um, if I create a new button here, let's create a right, just as an example, and I hit action, and let's say let's trigger the hide visual bookmark that we've created. So now, if I click that button, to trigger that bookmark, it travels us to the page where the bookmark was made, which is what you would typically expect from the bookmark. However, if you wanted to stay in the current page that you're at and just simply affect or, or, or make the bookmark changes work, um, you can untoggle it so that if I right click, untoggle the current page and I'll go back to the first page first and now just clear the selections and bring it back to normal. Here in our page two, see what happens. If I select control click, now I've toggled the bookmark, we stayed in this page, but if you now look at page two, navigating to it manually applies the bookmarks that we've applied um, that the bookmark should do, except that it doesn't bring us to the page where um, it's applied to. So that's the three options and what they do when you toggle or untoggle them within your bookmarks. What about those two other options at the bottom? So what I mean is this all visuals or selected visuals. Now all visuals is by default turned on. And what this basically means is any visual within your page is affected by this bookmark. So for example, in our hide visuals bookmark here, we're saying we're affecting all the visuals within this, uh, this page, any data type visual that we have applied. So because we've made the selection in the industry as well as company, and we've bookmarked that both of those or not just those two, but any type of data filters that we apply will be remembered by the bookmark. The selected visuals, however, if you apply that, it will only work for any of the selected visuals that 
you have selected when you toggle this. So what do I mean by that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear these selections. And uh, let's say we want the bookmark to only affect the industry. We, when the user selects a company, for example, and we trigger the bookmark, we want the industry to change, but preserve the company selection that our users made. This is a scenario of when you would use uh, the selected visuals, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and, and make some selections here in the industry. Uh, let's let's go back and make it airspace. I'm going to select that visual. I'm going to right click on the bookmarks. I'm going to change it to selected visuals. And then I'm going to right click and update it so that it updates to say uh, when you trigger this bookmark only affect this data visual um, and preserve anything else. So don't affect everything within our page because we have selected visuals there instead. So what's going to happen if I make a if I clear the selections there and I select that bookmark, you'll see that it will change the industry, but not the company, which is because we didn't uh, bookmark it like that. But now what you'll notice if I make a selection within the company, and uh, let's say I clear the selections here in the industry. So now it's all. If I click hide visual once again, you'll see that the companies I selected within this filter is unaffected. The only thing that changes is this industry visual, which is the one that we've set in our bookmarks pane. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with the final controls that is available for you within this bookmarks pane. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't want to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.